Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So two days ago, I showed you Melody Maker, kind of my yeah mission to make the piano roll a bit better. Today, I want to show you Scale Maker, another script that hopefully helps you in the piano roll. And I guess a lot of people will be happy about this, how it works. So here um, we have Bitwig Studio and I create just here a note clip, empty one. We go into the note clip and we can now start to paint in some notes. Okay, here's some, some random stuff. Let's use this one here. Something like this. And then you select these notes and you go to my scale maker um, script here and you can say, I want to have minor and D sharp. And then you can say fit to scale. And then it corrects all the notes to the right, yeah, scale notes, right? It moves all the notes to the right positions. So that's that's the idea behind it. It also works, of course, here with uh, with multiple um, chord progressions or anything like this. Let's do it. This uh, select everything. Say uh, fit to scale, right? Then you have all the notes that are not fitting to the scale are corrected. So this is the idea behind it. Um, I also made um, a continuous mode. At the moment here it's off, but you can switch this on. So with this, you can't actually paint wrong notes. It's not, um, it's not possible. So when I want to paint a note here on C, you can see it's immediately corrected to the next possible note. Right? you're always always in scale you also can do something like um, chord progressions here something like this we make kind of a chord and then you just copy this over here to pull it down maybe here you can see when i release basically my mouse then all the notes are corrected to the uh, scale here you can also um, skip up here one step the arrow keys and you can see I'm I want to go here to see but it's not possible as soon as I hit up on the key it skips this note and goes to C sharp so with this you can super fast and you're always inside of the right scale um, you can't paint in wrong notes you can change the mode and the key anytime and yeah you can switch this on or off here if you don't want to have this um, the scope of this is eight bars so from here to here i can make it bigger but for now i just leave it at eight bars i don't know how performant or if i run into performance issues with this because every time you touch basically a key, I do processing on it. Also um, selecting, it runs through my whole uh, script. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not familiar how performant this is. Maybe I can extend this then later on when it's safe, but for now I just leave it here for eight bars. I think it's enough to create chord progressions or melodies. Um, that's completely fine. Um, that's that. So it kind of works with arrow keys. You can, you know, use also multiple. You can see it's always corrected. Then I also try to uh, be a bit intelligent with the movement. So let's say you have major, C sharp major, and you put it here. And then you have maybe, is this off? Yeah, let's put it off. Maybe you have, you have this, situation here right and you want to correct the notes usually if you don't have or if you if you don't do this intelligently then um, you probably move this here right and then you kind of remove one note or delete one note so my idea was to actually check before you move if there is actually a note already there if there's a note then use this go one up instead of one down 
So you can select this here and say fit the scale and then it goes up. And when this one here is up, it, it doesn't go up, it go down then, right? So C sharp two is going down, fit the scale. So that's kind of a, a bit of smartness in there, right? So it's not like that it's just stupidly copying or moving notes around. Um, that's that. Then someone yesterday um, asked under my last Melody Maker video if I could make something that paints in the notes of the scale. So here with Scale Maker, we have, we have this also. We can choose, for instance, uh, C. Uh, I don't know, C Dorian. And then you can say, write to note stack. And then it paints here a lot of notes. I think mm -hmm. with velocity zero, also mm -hmm. muted. And you can then use fault here uh, in the piano roll. And then you have only the notes from the scale. So in my opinion, it's not needed anymore because you have this continuous mode here. But if you still like this workflow with a bunch of notes in here and using this fault, you can do this too. Um, you can choose all kinds of different modes here. I added a lot of things. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Maybe I add some features in the future, of course, to this one here. I also changed a bit the melody maker here. There is now this clip type also in here. So you can choose between launcher and arranger and then write or generate into the launcher or arranger. Um, that's different. And I probably also, um, yeah, also changed here this how many bars. So you can generate now melodies uh, longer than one bar. So you can say um, this is one bar. Then you can say, make this a bit smaller here. Say two bars, three bars, or four bars. Then it generates melodies for you, right? In a yeah, longer than one bar. So this also changed from 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 the last video, and I probably also add here over the weekend new scales. It's just basic stuff in here, but I have already some new ones in here, and I also bring them over to the Melody Maker um, script, so you can use them there too. And here, that's just also the beginning. I probably add some more stuff in the future. Uh, you guys have probably a lot of ideas. I have also ideas already for this stuff. Um, I put this also on GitHub so you can change it or maybe download it. It doesn't cost you anything. You can try it out. And yeah, on the last video, people complained that actually the Windows Defender had some problems with it and the Defender deleted the file sometimes even. So I have no idea what the problem with this is because it's just a text file. It's just a JavaScript file. Maybe disable uh, the Windows Defender for JavaScript files or for my downloads. I don't know how this works. I have no problems on my PC. I also checked with the uh, online database against viruses. So there's nothing in there. Um, if you want to install these scripts here, right? Also important, you go to settings. And then there's here locations. Under locations, you can see down here, my controller scripts, there's a directory. That's where you need to put these script files, right? Everything for me is in there. So put the script file in there and then go to controllers, choose add, and then go to polarity. And then you have here the melody maker, scale maker, and the file name generator. I haven't showed you this here one, but it's also on my GitHub. Um, so yeah, so then you can choose here what you want to add and then hit add and then it should show up here at the top right. I also look for that I maybe can change here the icons for that. I am not sure if this is actually possible. Um, the documentation for the API is not that great. It's actually just an automatic generated uh, class description thing. So it's, yeah, you have to research what's possible in there. Um, you can also combine all these things. So when you have here a melody in what's that Ionian C, you can also correct this here with the, um, let's say minor D sharp, D sharp arranger with the scale. So you can combine the melody generator and also here the scale maker if you want to. And I think that's it for me so far. Um, 
I, I think I covered everything. So let me know in the comments what you think. Download is also there to the GitHub. Um, the GitHub page is, I can show you, it looks like this. So I link you basically to this or maybe here to my directory. And then you go here to the script. And then there's a download button here, this one. Download raw file, that's what you need. And then you put it basically into the controller script folder. That's all you need to do. And if you have problems with the defender, like I said, maybe try and disable it. I have no idea what triggers it. It's just a normal text file. There's nothing shady in it. It's not even possible. I'm not downloading anything or something like this. It's, it's just a very basic, simple JavaScript file. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, people. Um, leave a like, leave a subscription. See you in the next video. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think.